That might would have fixed it. Also, thank you for following all father. <clears throat> all right, so that should have fixed it. That should have fixed it. Hopefully. If not, then I have no idea. Because it should be like a 10 second delay between like stream and chat. So, yeah. <laughs> oh dear god. Anyways, let's just go. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, hello! Hopefully that was fast. Yeah, I think the Wi-Fi shut off might have, like, delayed things, like, way too much. Just... Um... Hello! Hey, Tex! Hey, Tex, I think we found your layer of hell! <laughs> I think we found Texas house. <laughs> hey, Corn was here. <laughs> yeah, that was my first thought was either, oh, hey, we found Corn's summer home, or B, oh, we found Texas house. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go swap out my party quickly. Hey, Dwagon Dude, I'm back! Both are one and the same. <laughs> hey, Dragon Dude, I'm back! I bow to your, cur to your courage, O oh fearless mortals. I will not forget it, and I never will forget you. Huh. Let's go. Alright. So, let's quickly go. Go and get our party switched up a bit. I'll bring along the girl, just because you want me to. And I do admit that Jubilice might be not too useful here. So let's quickly switch up the group. Boop, boop. And back in we go. Red Texan. Don't worry, wherever Texan is. What's up, G? Hello. Hello, Diggist. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, God. Are we going to fight Korn when I go back into the dungeon? Also. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot to finalize my party. You got the party coming in clutch here. Oh wait, is the actual like is the rest of like the D and D party actually gonna be here? <laughs> if that's the case, oh no. <laughs> the first interaction with me is going to be the fact that I am actually secretly a slime girl. <laughs> Alright, let's level you up, girl. Um, let's go into Inquisitor. Alright. Alright. And... I have no idea where to specialize her. Because all these other things are already covered by Octavia. Like, everything is covered by Octavia, because Octavia is just fucking busted. <laughs> like, I don't understand why Octavia is, like, so fucking powerful, but she is. Uh, 
Um, so for her spells, we'll get to her spells in a moment. We gotta figure out where to put her stats. Keep upping persuasion. All right. I'll put a bit of athletics and mobility as well. And the answer, the devs have a crush on her. <laughs> of course they do. Like, Octavia is actually like a really fun character. I love her. Okay, so, feet. So, for her feet, I feel like I should be running what she uses, which is size. There we go. Uh, should I be doing that? Weapon Pokemon Scythe? Okay. That's what I figured. Now for her spells. What to give her? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What? 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 What the fuck is that? Bless? Okay. Questioner again. I believe a good. What uh, to upgrade? I feel like. Wisdom? W wisdom, maybe? Or charisma? Or. Uh, strength and whiz, either one. I'll put it into strength. More persuasion. With more mobility and. Like an upper perception. Okay, now she gets a now she gets a feat. She gets a she gets a tactic. Yeah, she gets a teamwork feat. Uh, I'm actually working on getting my team uh teamwork feats at the moment. I feel like. Precise? Yeah, that's what I figured. And now for her another spell, I'm guessing... Bane? I feel like that actually be pretty good. Shield? Okay. My faith is my shield! So that on, on your tank and she won't die. <laughs> oh god. Oh, uh, what? What to feet to give her? Hmm. But yeah, I will throw that on Valerie. <laughs> Power attack? Okay. Yeah, power attack seems like a decent feat. It, especially, like, like, yeah, earlier on it seems like it's going to handicap you, but it 
like legitimately gets better and better as the levels go on. Uh, now for this, I heard Bone Shaker is pretty good. Of course, inflict moderate wounds to be able to heal her. In Effort's armor, where no longer reduce, where you wear no longer reduces your speed, armor checks, penalty of one plus one plus part five levels of cast for maximum of five. Delay poison. So focus on buffs and damage, okay. Effortless. Okay, 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 I see. Alright, I, 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 I'm getting what you, I'm picking up what you're putting down. How are you holding up, Tex? You still drinking? <laughs> so, well, uh, well, he's my heal bot. She's actually my buff. Person. Okay, that makes a bit more sense, I guess. And just throw that into religion, I guess. He and I both are. Oh god. Little person. That. And we get Bane! Yay. And I get another teamwork feat. This level, so. I'm still standing. I shall truly, I take a truly near quite amount of whiskey to put me down. <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> uh, I feel like Cleave? Well, I would choose some, I would choose some weird, weirder picks. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Dodge, spell penetration, stuff like that doesn't seem like Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I completely get that. Like, I... Anytime I see spell penetration, I pick it up for my casters. I'm like, yeah, here. Spell penetration. That, that's good. That's actually really good. Like, things like center armor is actually, like, really good. Now for this one. I feel like... Oh, yeah, outflank. <laughs> I forgot the rest of the team has outflanked on them. So I'm, I'm gonna pick that up because the rest of the people who are gonna be up front with her have it. And I'm gonna make sure everyone else gets 
out Flint gets a precise strike when we get their next feats. With whole person combo with Coop, it makes an insta kill. Jesus Christ! That's actually insane. But okay. On to spells! It is best to use on turret based mode to ensure that you can. And the insta kills upon paralysis. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not really too familiar with turn based mode, so I'll, I'll at least try it to be sure. Actually, that actually seems like a good buff. Blessing of Luck and Resolve. Clear the list of uh, happening clerics. Just Plus two morale boosts and signatures and spear effects. If the target fails, signature reroll has plus four morale bonus. And yeah, that actually seems pretty good. Or I could do aid, which is which also, which actually gives a uh, temporary HP. But actually, this actually feels a lot better. Okay, she's leveled up. Now to get her some actual equipment. <laughs> Guess she just has a. I should be honest. I should honestly introduce that to 5e. In the correct conditions, you could be you could attempt to hit, attack, roll versus their flat con plus proficiency. It sounds interesting to be sure. Uh, let's do that on you. Yours works off of in... No, no, no. No, your stuff works off Wisdom, so I'm gonna have to grab some Wisdom stuff for you later. Check that out on you. A ring. Actually, I'll throw this on you. I fortunately I don't have any upgraded scythes right now. <laughs> oh wait, no, I do. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's get you some armor. Let's throw this on you. Yeah, okay. Okay, now we're cooking with gasoline. Let's also throw that on you. And. Oh, that would actually work better on you. Yeah, a 16 comp, we'll see prop. Correct. So don't cook the gas with the use napalm.
<laughs> Remember, people, napalm doesn't stick to kids. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> joking. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> Let me make sure that, I get, that this guy doesn't have an extra thing that I can use. Let's see your wares. Khajiit has coin if you have wares. Khajiit have war. Ah! Khajiit have wares if you have coin. Let Tex drink the gasoline instead. The heart and care face while young helps them survive younger. <laughs> Dear Lord, guy. <laughs> Take that for my. Make sure I won't take that. <laughs> Alright, let's get back down there, guys. Let's go, boys. Be fucking ballin' in this chat. <laughs> oh, dear God. I cannot wait for me to get my new overlay. So I can actually have a proper chat area. You know, that's something, that's something I'm working on, or, well, I'm getting, kinda. Is a overlay in, like, roughly, like, three weeks. Introduce this dungeon to what happens to Wacko first hand. <laughs> oh dear lord, we're starting to get spicy. Oh god, we're starting to get spicy. Oh, dear lord. Face me. I kill everything that moves, strip the corpses, butcher the corpses, haul it back, retire down made of metal down electrum. <laughs> Why are you throwing a melted down electrum? Also, hello! I wasn't expecting a cyclops! Oh, fuck. Uh, use this. And, uh... Tex and I have a very similar sense of humor, so, so, so it will eventually. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. Hold on. Dear God, dear God, why am I already fatigued? That was a lot of damage! Hold alt while aiming to hit a person of interest instead of... Ah, uh, okay. I'm listening. Place of interest instead of enemy for AoE. Okay. Good to know, I guess.
Also, I'm going to throw on... I maximize the best use of the best spell, Grease. I do what I must. What's that? Yeah, Grease is a pretty good spell. I need to make more use of it. Uh, okay, this room is just empty. Dear Lord, what the fuck just happened? All right, so whenever you put electrum in, <laughs> electrum is fucking bullshit. All right. <laughs> but I will agree, electrum is fucking whack. And Matthew actually likes electrum. <laughs> like so, so does Rice. Rice loves electrum. I understand why he likes it. I just don't like Electrum. I still got it. Okay, wow, where is that damage coming from? Best spell. <laughs> the Macrator. In the bottom right. Okay. Oh, they have cleave. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I thought they were just literally just exploding. No, they're just using cleave that has explosives. No, 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 don't. This body holds no ah, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you don't like po positive energy. <laughs> okay, Mamador is on the. On a uh, mountain cleaver, you roll to hit, and if you succeed, the enemy just auto dies most of the time. Well, now, <laughs> oh dear lord. Which we actually need to. Uh, which after the stream, I am definitely going to be working on uh, my 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 character for the campaign. <clears throat> which I am planning to do a little bit of rogue. With mostly just uh, warlock for because you guys need a caster, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be the caster. Like, <laughs> I have a decent amount of experience with being a caster, so I can do that. How curious! Oh look! I did as you asked. Done and done. Ooh, what's this? Found some armor. Bogman's robe. Huh. Our current full caster is a cleric necromancer. Uh, the cleric necromancer. 
no, I, I, the a cleric necromancer weirdly makes sense to me, okay? To me, that's not a meme. <laughs> Like, to me, Cleric Necromancer is not a meme. That is legitimately a valid way of doing it. <laughs> oh, God. Tex. Tex, I just got sent the best meme. <laughs> Tex, hold on. I just got sent the best meme ever. Hold on, I'm sending you it. I am sending both of you this meme. <laughs> it is perfect. Because it is so fucking true. How the fuck do you play Caravan? Look, I've been around the world, okay? Whatever it is, I'll understand. There's nothing about this I understand. <laughs> why is... Why? <laughs> Good question. I never learned. You suffer, actually. I don't even know how to play. But how do you play Caravan? I actually want to know. Because... The only real knowledge of how to play Caravan I have is from Mike Burnfire, and he used time travel to, to play. It is abuse. It's really shitty rules. The deck revolving around three of a kind cards. Uh, three, two, uh, two thirds suits. Just build your deck for that. I have no idea what that means, but okay. You cast that on her. You, you're on auto heal duty, and we'll actually. Got a fireball. Oh, they're immune to fire. Fuck. Don't forget in the new Vegas Frontier mod, you can play a game of Caravan. To win the mod. <laughs> Wait, really? That's actually a thing in in Frontier. Oh God, that is a giant! Oh God, that is a giant boy. Go after that one immediately. Crimson, you cleave. You, you just move up. And you bind and hold. Yes, the... You can just have a deck full of seven kings, I think, and uh, and one other card, and you have like two of three suits instead of four. It takes fucking forever to assemble the deck. Yes, the final battle with the BBG. You can say, "Let's play caravan," and he dies instantly. <laughs> but once you uh, auto win every game, just with some minor playing, you you do need to at least have one. One red and black suit. I have no idea what that means, but okay. <laughs> I have no idea what, what, what that means, but okay. <laughs> but I'm actually surprised that you can auto-win... I'll win the battle against the BBG with that.
Tex will one day teach Candy how to play Tex and hold him. Uh, be upon you, for Nurgle has left his dungeon to invade your nose. And half a dozen pulls how to play it, and then teach them how to count cards, and then, then it's time for the casino! <laughs> Tex, please, no! Tex, no! Tex, yes! Follow if you dare. Uh, okay, hold on. Pull back. Yeah, these are fire cyclopses. Well, I'm gonna quickly refresh your buff. Cast bless. Then to be that. Then after that, you're going to give me a pit right here. And you give me a pit right here. And then after that, uh, give me haste on her. And put a pit right here. Alright, let's do this! You cannot stand against me. Holy shit, this is actually working! Holy shit, it's actually working. The Kumpit ate one! That was part of my plan! To have the Kumpit consume! Wait till I get the hungry come pit. <laughs> he just walked in. He just walked in. <laughs> I won't let you down. Oh god. Right here, my friend. <laughs> what he just said, all right, I'm out. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> he just literally just got out of the pit and said, "All right, I'm done with this. I'm going to go back over to my spot." He killed my friend Jerry. I'm going to go back. And you're going to leave me alone. Little did he know, we were not going to li leave him alone. <laughs> uh, Time Lord Shark gargles of gar gar gargle gar He saw the inside of the pit, got PTSD, and walked away. <laughs> oh dear lord. Oh, so hello. I've broken a nail. Ah. That. Probably actually the first time I've ever had her fail a check. I discovered something. Oh, hello. Ah, yes. More hell. Uh, quickly. Refresh that buff. Bane your weapon. Weapons, spells, poisons. The art of killing is so diverse these Divine days. Weapon. It's a shame one life is not enough to master them all. How do you break a nail upon reading a slab? We need another pit. Yes, that that's exactly my thought process. Hold on. Pit. 
Why can I not summon a thing? I can't summon the cum pit! <laughs> oh god, I can't summon the cum pit, oh no. Uh, can I summon it here? Okay, I can summon it there! Right. Hold on. Uh, I don't think it was saying that anything happened. Oh god. Dude went to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Just imagine two women pulling up. Just imagine this this party pulling up. Two women. Two women with great swords just run at you. And then just just fucking just run your fade. Just the way he fell. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he definitely went to the fucking Shadow Realm. What you want? Flip so face up, banish target creature. I do what I must. All right, let's see what they're protecting. A javelin. A plus two shocking javelin. Okay, nice. Uh, that should be it here. Wait, there might be something over here. <laughs> His people needed him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, man. As text can most likely attest to, I am terrible at spelling. I guess I was just kind of... No, wait. There might be another path. I'm there. They fucked around and found out. Imagine you're these cyclopses, like, you're just waiting down here, waiting for adventurers to come in. Then two, then two tomboys with great swords rush your ass, while one rushes you with a scythe, another one with a fucking shield as big as her body, all rush at you at once. What the fuck are you going to do? Fuck around is human, find out is divine. <laughs> Oh, dear lord. Okay. I got a water level. I got a water area. That's something. Weirdly normal flooded. Yeah, weird. Yeah, this floor looks weirdly no normal. This actually looks like some sort of like relaxing pond area. Gordon's blessed me today with buff women for challengers. Blood for the blood god. <laughs> that's what those. That's what those cyclopses are thinking as, as they're being charged by buff women. Oh. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh no! Oh no! All the buffs! All 
all of the buffs right now. Charge that spider. Oh god! There's a goblin! There's two goblins! There's two goblins. There's two goblin alchemists. Activate the racism helmet. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? I am actually going to turn on the racism helmet. Amari now has equipped the racism helmet. <laughs> I'll throw this on. No, actually, hold on. Here you go, Amari. Half back to Staglord's home. <laughs> why does it why does it look like Magneto's helmet? <laughs> it's literally Magneto's helmet, what the fuck? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Magneto's face is confirmed. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> weirdly enough, you're not wrong. What a surprise. Like, y you're not wrong. He actually is. I did as you asked. He's racist against normal humans. <laughs> at least if I remember Magneto... If I at least remember the lore of X-Men correctly, he's... Oh, hello. Well, uh, Amari, I should actually get you healed up. Holy shit. Uh, no, 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 Octavian. No. Don't. Cassic. Class. Oh, it was Arcane Failure. Is her armor? It was her armor, okay. Okay, that's from her studded leather armor, so I'm just going to give her normal leather armor then. Because that doesn't seem to give as bad as a boost. Defense Brazers? She already has some, though. Yeah, she already has a pair on. Yeah, she already has a thing of uh, armor bracers on. Eh, yeah, whatever. The thing is that, like, the thing is that she's, like, never had failures before. So this was, like, so this is, like, legitimately confusing. It's a come get both of you! Oh, God! Most of the party is in the come pit! Octavia just being giga chat and staying out of the pit. Oh no, she fell into the pit. 
Oh, yeah, no, she joined them. <laughs> Octavia joined the Society of Compit. Oh, God, that was a terrible trap. Uh, How may I help? Patricio Turinos. Patricio Turinos. You have my attention. Kashani Sadi. Share your trouble. Patricio Turinos. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Called it. She had the drag jet back in. <laughs> Oh dear lord. This stream is just weird. In her and Reg, God, <laughs> do you have an open relationship in this game? She is Slanesh. Oh god, I didn't realize that they actually had an open relationship. I've broken a nail. This <laughs> declared <laughs> all are going <laughs> to the in the trumpet. Oh God, Octavia, you okay, girl? Yeah, whatever. We can always come back for this another time. I could do another sweep another time. They cleared all, all <laughs> the mandatory come hit such. Mandatory come it session. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize uh, Octavia and Reg were in an open relationship. Yeah, you can join them if if you flirt with them. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, that's interesting to know. I guess. It's just something I never expected to learn. Oh god, it's a doom spider. Assist me or lose me. Be generous for them, for I am not. Be generous for I am not. We can't expect God to do all the work. We can't expect God to do all the work. Confide in me. No. Hey, T Terra, come bit. You can accept with enthusiasm or graciously. Oh, dear Lord. That. Oh. You see that? Your time. Done and done. Hold on, someone just added me. <laughs> oh god, the server is still discussing what the fuck Caravan is. Caravan is a game that you discover, like, and- OH GOD! OH DEAR GOD! OH NO! GET THE PIT! GET THE PIT RIGHT NOW! Oh, dear lord! <laughs> Can someone help me? 
<laughs> we might need a bigger pit. <laughs> you don't say! Yeah, we will need a bigger pit, Jesus Christ! Cast haste. It should at least help. And then... Do that on yourself. Oh god, it's in the pit! Our construction company has approved a bigger pit. Construction of a larger pit. <laughs> Please send me the theme of this room. Stand by 68 business weeks of order for the order team. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> oh god, I hate running into large elementals, it's so terrifying. Okay. Oh, oh no, what is this? Somebody dead. Somebody dead. Uh, dear God's sakes. Uh. God, I, I just saw it. <laughs> Dear God's sakes. Uh, I think it's just a bomb. Yeah, no, no, I, I am not disagreeing. Also, hold on. I need to get everyone buffed up again. Request. Tashani Sabi. Tashani Sabi. Shield of Faith. You can count on me. Haste. Haste. My skills are absolute. So just get a bless up. Uh, any other buffs I can give off? Any other buffs? Oh. All right, let's do this. But yes, that, that song is indeed a bop. I'm just not going to play it just... I'm not going to be playing the whole thing just in case I get DMCA'd. Yeah, I'd smash. She... <laughs> All she, the quick conversation with one block. 
<laughs> one true blood god. Uh, did you look up Amari? Like, art, like full body art of her? <laughs> yeah, no, Amari's fucking hot. <laughs> like, like, I'm actually going to say this because it's actually very true. I based a lot of Black Iron Candy off Amari. Rather to help her see the, all the other war gods just another aspect of Korn. <laughs> Amari is, is a god. <laughs> like, legitimately, a lot of Black Iron Candy's personality comes from Amari. It, Amari is like a general inspiration for Black Iron for me. So, <laughs> so you're gonna love Black Iron Candy even more, Tex. Ooh, a wand of heroism. Like, hold on, let me go quickly. Pathfinder, Kingmaker, Amari. I could definitely imagine. Like, and here's actually a fun thing, I have to say, of all my characters, Wrath gave me the greatest example of one of mine that I am playing. Nice! Also, here's a fun thing for, uh, you'll probably love seeing Anna in action. Most likely, yes. But here's actually a fun thing, since I'm actually working on a bit of a Pathfinder thing right now. Uh... I'm working with the rule books for uh, Iron Gods. Amari actually gets a fucking great, like a giant ass chain sword in that. Like one of the artwork for the books. Hold on, I need to go find that. Hold on, I let me go find that all quickly. Hold on. Uh. Yeah, one in the third book for Iron Gods. Uh, for in the third book for Iron Gods, which is a entire fucking massive module series, Amari ends up losing her great sword because it got eaten. It got eaten by a giant ass bug, and then she she took some guy's like fucking giant chain sword, and it looks fucking awesome. I'm gonna have to chain sword. I'm gonna have to track down a few of the images because like she actually looks fucking badass while wielding it. Fucking slag. Back at it again, eating people's weaponry. <laughs> also, uh, uh, Tex, one of my immediate thoughts was when you brought up uh, wanting to invite me over to that campaign is, is, uh, one of my immediate thoughts when you brought that up was, could I be able to make black iron in this? That was legitimately my first thought. Also, I found the image of the chainsword. I couldn't find the image of her with it. But there's the chainsword being wielded by that big ass orc. But, uh, yeah, one of my first thoughts when you brought up uh, bringing me into the D&D game that you're doing in Curse of Strahd was immediately, hmm, could I make Black Iron Candy in D&D? &D? Which, I mean, I probably could very easily. Wind. 
But I realized, oh wait, you guys already have a melee DPS beast. Okay, wow, these guys are hitting hard. Oh god, they have a plus 12 attack. Oh god. They have a plus 13 to their attack. Oh god. Berserker plus exotic weaponry. Basically was going to be the plan. Okay, wow, I did not hit these guys at all. Amari, pull out the chain gun! Or, not Amari, but, uh... Octavia, pull out the chain gun! Uh, rage. And try to cleave again. I should mention I'll be expecting some details later. Oh, of uh, Black Iron? Or of, uh... Or of Smith? Both? Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He is a gunslinger elf named Akul. Straight up lawful evil. As a physical into explaining your own inability. Stop blaming your own. That good is a weak you are. Oh god. Oh god. I really need to tell the story of Verna Hildegard eventually, because, like, I feel like a lot of you would actually enjoy her. God damn it, he didn't go into the pit! Get in the cum pit, centaur! But, uh... Candy Smith, she is, she's actually a farm girl, believe it or not, or originally was a farm girl, but found out that she was, like, really good at being a thief, and so, to make sure that her family's farm doesn't, like, you know... Make sure her family doesn't, well, you know, get. It. God damn it. Doesn't suffer from her actually being like a really good thief. Surround, a uh, swirling darkness spirals the path. It is surrounded by maddening voices, whispering, crackles, screamed incoherent phrases in an unknown language. Okay. And, uh, so she basically just decided to run away. Well, not exactly run away, more like, I'm going to go get this out of my system and eventually come back to help run the farm. And, yeah, that's her story. That's how she became an adventurer. Make sure her family didn't have to suffer because of her kleptomania. Looks like it's time to clap her ass. Oh, she's already had her ass clapped multiple times. Like, dear God. Like, now? Now she's, like, just kind of done with people's shit.
Because the so, so Candy Smith was originally for a module. You want to know which module? Do you want to know which module? This uh, warlock uh, this this warlock girl was for. She was originally for uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Rhyme of the fucking Frost. I fucking hate Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Because. Uh, just. Uh, God damn it. I hate Rhyme of the Frost Maiden just because of how dumb it is. Third session. I get knocked out in one hit. And my party stabilizes me. Okay, yeah, it is a good book, but I have it has a bad taste in my mouth because I went down every session. I went down every session and got killed three times. Like that is legitimately what happened. Was. I would get killed every. I would get. I got killed three times in the campaign. Got downed every single session. Lost my arm. Lost one of my arms in the first fucking. In the, in the first time I died. It just. <laughs> that campaign just left a sour uh, taste in my mouth when it comes to uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. I will admit, it's a very good book. It's a very well made one. But I wasn't expecting to have to make a 25 will save. Not will save, but constitution save. What, what was it? <laughs> you don't need this. The thing is, I was a bow user. Like, my entire build at that point was I use bows. That is still what she's going to do. She is going to be a she is going to be using a bow. But I lost use of one of my arms because it fucking just got frostbit. You tried to The thing is, like, the first time I died was from getting knocked down, knocked on my ass by a moonbeam. And then the wish that we were, that we had unknowingly come across, pricking her finger and saying, Ice Storm. And he he here's what happened with that. So, so for that, you need to make a dexterity save. You need to make a dexterity save against Ice Storm. And I was down. The, my party had stabilized me, but I was fucking down. And so, you want to know how much damage it did? It did fucking five times my health in damage. So I was just insta gift from the start. If the party rushed me off to the nearest city to try and save me, and they were able to, yeah, no, Ice Storm is no joke. It is a dead. It is a deadly spell, but it did like five times my health and damage. Well, I was downed. I was stabilized, but I wasn't up. So, <laughs> you can just imagine. How fun that is for me to <laughs> to have walked into a room with the rest of my party, failed a dexterity check as a rogue, get it get one shot by the moonbeam, then, 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 then after my after one of my after one of the other players, we were like level three. Like two or three. I think we're at level three at the time. 
Yeah, I think so. Like, it was like level, either level one or two, or two or three. Not level one or two. Two or three. And, yeah, it was, it was a, the one thing is, with my experience with, something bothering you? with Ram of the Frost beating is just, is just painful. So, there's that. Oh, it's up, Captain. Like, I... To this day, I'm like... I still hold soul. I still hold soul for that. For that first fucking death and losing use of one of my arms. For another eight sessions, I couldn't figure out how to... For that, for like eight sessions, I didn't have use of one of my arms, and I was the ranged character. And because I didn't have use of one of my arms, most of my thief, most of my abilities as a rogue were useless. <laughs> I couldn't wall climb properly because I didn't have both arms. I I couldn't wield my I couldn't wield my weapons properly because I didn't have both arms, and it just it came out it came down to to a bunch of no mind flayers giving me a fucking gun for me to at least have some use to the party anymore. I, I literally had to be given a gun by a by a no mind flayer that we helped out because he saw because he felt a little bad about me. So there's that. <laughs> oh dear lord, it was But yeah, to this day, I still believe that Soul had it out for us during that campaign. Like, I we had fun. Like, there's no doubt about it that we did have fun. But one of the main problems was just how... Eh... One of the main problems was just, like, how it... Like, I will agree, it was fun. But it was just that that experience of me getting killed three times. Once via one-shot bullshit. Second time was via that fucking snow... Via that fucking avalanche. Which, by the way, the DM had to improvise, apparently. <laughs> Which Soul apparently had to improvise on because there was barely any, any information in the rule book about it, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm ranting. I'm just... Like... I will agree. With Ram the Frost Maiden is a pretty well written module, but holy fuck, was it not fun for me? Like everyone else is having a blast, and like it seemed like my character was just getting punched in was just getting punched in the gut repeatedly for no real reason. So where's the exit? Like, the site's here, which I can't really go any deeper. But yeah, you got you gotta love Wizards of the Coast when 
may leave out important information about a very dangerous area for the DM to use. What is the creature's name? Uh, Radru? Uh, no, it was... It was after the elk. It was the... It was that area where you where you fight the uh undead elk thing. If that jogs any memories, it's like in that area, and it was like a it was like an elvish like burial site, and we like wanted to explore a little bit. We opened one of the tombs. We were able to open the tomb, and a fucking I think it was like a hag or a witch just popped up behind one of the grave sites and just fucking smited me with a moonbeam. Like, like if that helps, like jog your memory of the exact moment I'm talking about, because I remember it like so vividly, because of the fact that I just, because that was the moment my my pe my character got so giga fucked. That I just became useless to the party for a while. And I eventually got a new arm. It was a prosthetic and it was made of porcelain and I l fucking loved it. It was still one of those things that was just like... Eh. I don't know. But like, it, I will, like, like I said, I do think that Rhyme of the Frostman is a very good RPG. Or a very good module, but it just... This is still in chapter one. Yes. Yeah, I got downed in chapter one. I got downed, like, every session. Maybe twice a session if I was unlucky. But minimum, every single session got downed once. Was it a moon elf mummy? No, no, it wasn't. It was a hag. It's like a hag or something. Because, like... After, because, like, as she, like, was casting Ice Storm, she's, like, when we killed her, she said, for, I sacrificed myself for the Frost Maiden. And we thought, okay, she's probably, like, a worshiper of the Frost Maiden, then. Hold on. Yeah, that was probably her. Yeah, I think that was her, yeah. Yeah, she dropped that at... CR5. It was like three of us, and we were all like level two to three, if I remember correctly. So, I... I really don't know. I just remember, like, she just, she did, like, way more damage than, like, twice my health and just insta-killed me. Which just wasn't fun. But 
it was we were just like exploring we were just like doing some exploration shit for the sake of having fun yeah no she legitimately just killed me the party killed her and then i'm then they rushed me back to the big city and were able to revive me they're able to resurrect me but she still fucking killed the hell out of me. Sounds interesting. What happened? Dice rolls, that's probably what I'm looking for. Woke them up. For one person fucked up and blocked the other. He ran past the rest of the party. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay, I don't know where to go now. He saw five vampires spawn to run away in the party, burnt the coffin shook to the ground. <laughs> okay, then. Also, I don't think I can go any deeper into the into a dungeon. Like, legitimately. I, I can't go any deeper. <laughs> Be level capped right now. Really? I did. I would expect to at least face the first boss Fall by now. Have you tried full bun? Hold on, let me let me look this up. Hold on. Okay, I'm looking it up right now. Uh, 
Uh, notes, the dungeon came with the Beneath the Stoneland DLC, the two versions of this dungeon. One is playable during the main campaign, which, which is page of four, and the other can be started from a new game menu, which has randomly generated floors, enemies, loot, can be brought over to the campaign. campaign. Campaign version counts 16 floors, with, plus a final boss room with a boss every four floors. The dungeon floor uh, becomes available as you progress through the main game's chapters. Okay. Okay. The elementals were a boss? Hold on. Okay. Okay, I guess I can't go any deeper. That kind of sucks. Alright, hold on. I'm currently on floor BI. All enemies on this floor are bit buying features buff. Blah. The the boss didn't spawn, actually. Like I, I'm looking at a map thing right now. Apparently the boss just didn't spawn, question mark? Okay, hold on. I'm heading I'm heading back up. Because something's up. Boss heard about the combat and left. <laughs> oh dear god. Boss well, said, alright, I'm out. <laughs> These bastards have a cum pit. Alright, no, I I'm not dealing with that. I'm d d do you see what they did to those to those to those cyclopses? I'm right, going in from the top. And according to this. Okay, hold on. I have a thing right here that's helping me navigate. There's apparently something over here, which I've probably already gotten.
All right, don't worry. I just gotta figure out why the fuck the boss didn't spawn. Like, yeah, we collected that. And I'm fairly sure that the elementals weren't the boss. That was definitely, like, a difficult encounter, but definitely wasn't the boss. send you the true battle theme when the boss hits. I don't know it's DMCA able because it's made for a game called the body. Lobotomy Corporation? Okay, hold on. Alright, yeah, I've heard that. Body Corporation. I, I've actually been meaning to play that. I did as you asked. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna play it just to be safe. Face me if you dare. I'm wounded. Oh wow. Reduced to ashes. So if I, I am your shield. my research is correct, the boss might not spawn because of the fact that I'm not far enough in the story. If that is true, that is some grade A bullshit. Also, if it's because I because I failed to check on that pedestal, I am going to be mad because I've actually been wanting to do this. Like, I've been wanting to do this thing for, like, so long. And I figured, hey, today on stream, I'll go do this. Like, th this seems like a fun thing to do. Yeah, the way Wayfarer's goggles, Wayfarer's diary, Wayfarer's belt.
Also, when it comes to Max Horse videos, I don't. I'm not sure that DMCA even wants to fucking touch him. Oh right, because Octavia. I am yours to command. Hold on. I am. Hold on, I'm getting Jubilee. I am getting the fucking gnome. Speak. Because apparently, Octavia can't lock pick, try to lockpick that again. It's like I gotta have to get the fucking gnome who knows how to lockpick. I'm gonna do a. How the fuck do you say that word? I've never heard of America. I mean, if you're asking if I want food, I already got some. It's Aussie English. Okay. Oh. Aussie for McDonald's. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. Hey, hold on. Quickly, before we do anything, give Jubal Life your gloves. <laughs> Child's play! A flamboyant hat! <laughs> Uh, okay, remember, I'm American, not Aussie. I have no idea what the fuck you're saying. It's 
It's a fun boy hat. Uh, plus two charisma score. I love to mock people and some of my genetics. Okay then. Oh! I already killed the boss. Um, okay then. I killed the boss without realizing it. Now I can't go any further. Okay. Now all this is now someone else can Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, no, the thing is that, Tex, your DMing style can best be described as what the fuck. I, that is legitimately the best way I can do it. Chickens, pork pounder, remove mustard and pickles, less mayo, extra large fry, and the salt. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. Also, I learned, so, I'm gonna have to come back later, which makes me mad. I want to go, because I want to do more killing. But I'm going to go head back to the rest of my kingdom and go do some shit then. Also, using an entire onion for help of my, my toppings it was not a good idea. He was a brave one. His mind and so sharp and curious, is so so noble. A pathetic creature the cave turned him into. Now this time his time of mockery and dishonor has finally come to an end. A tired hero finally received what he came for. Deathly peace. So I'm gonna head back to my capital, and I think I'm gonna call it here before the session. Yeah.
for at least for the stream. Now I will show Jenny over to my lands. Who the fuck stands in my way? My naming style is simple. Running you learn if you feel you. I'm harsh but fair. But boy, I hit with surprise. Surprise shit, I, it hits hard. I don't really know how to describe my DMing style. Like, if you want to learn more, just look up my, my uh, Lancer games. Also, oh, it's a Dwemer cat! Oh, he's so cute! I want to give him pets! Cat, Tex, look! Dwemer kitty! Next text about my enemies who had sentinel feet with pikes. Oh, God. Look, it's a Dwemer kitty! It's so cute! Indeed. Indeed, he is a very big kitty. But, uh... Like, if you want to know my DMing style, just look at my Lancer games. I really don't know what I'm doing there. I, I don't know how to describe my DMing style. Just literally just watch it. You'll you'll figure it out. That's done. That's um. Okay, Jubilee, what the fuck do you want? Jubilee, Jubilist, uh, currently greets you with a document. Fairness, you'll never agree, will never guess what happened to your treasure holdings. Came the samurai plan running through my roots of Black Crusade for the forces of chaos will march again. Must. Yeah, that's good for you, Tex. It's a list of things that tumbled out of the wall of your basement as workers were undertaking repairs. A gilded god, one silverware. Gilded guard, garb, one, silverware, three, the several coins, the list is long and varied. Straight to the point, it appears that your workers covered a secret, covered the stag lord's secret cash. I have stolen from it, from his own henchmen. Finding the true owners of these things would be a hard and thankless job, while taking these trinkets in your own chest is completely a It's robbery. Compromise. Appraise these riches and send equal amounts to bridges released by the bandits. Let the treasure is being some good and the stack lord. Right. 
treasure. Can I agree to the trade agreement yet? No, I cannot. What happened to a lot of my funds? So, for today, that is it, everyone. I hope y'all have had. I hope y'all have had a good time. I know I have. <laughs> I hope to see both you. You. Uh, I hope to see both Tex and Allfather here again, at some point. <laughs> but no matter what, I hope you all have enjoyed. I will be streaming again on Thursday. I have no idea what I'll be streaming then, but I know I will be streaming. And I am going to go take a nap. Or, not a nap, I'm going to go lay in my bed and do research on things. Good night. Or, good afternoon? A good afternoon would be more appropriate. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye bye.